Okay, so um, what I'm sharing with you today is a mixing station layout that I designed for the X32, uh, although I have adapted, adapted it for the X-Air ranges as well. Uh, in this first scene uh, screen, you can see here we've got um, a, oh, this is an iPad, um, 11 inch iPad. So an iPad Pro, I think, two, three or four, something like that. Um, it's certainly not brand new. Um, 11 inch screen, like I said, uh, what you can see here is, um, your mixer, uh, above that is you've got your PEQ, um, that has like a little function at the top there called monitor mode, um, which I'll get into in a little bit. Oh, and then we have a uh, gate next to that, uh, and then your mute, um, mute buttons. Um, over here on this right hand side, you've got um, just little buttons that toggle between um, layouts. So we've got this gate layout, it's called gate. Uh, and then if we touch this button here, it goes to the comp layout, which is identical, except the gate has changed into a compressor for the channel, the channel compressor. So there's the channel gate there for the kick drum. There's the snare top, snare bottom, blah, 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 blah. We'll get back to kick. Uh, there's the compressor layout. So we've got kick, snare top, snare bottom, rack, blah, blah, blah. There we go. You can see how that works. Um, and then over here, there's another button next to the comp, and there is the FX button. And that brings up like reverb sends, um, vocal effects sends. So when I touch that, you can see that it actually loads in this right hand side it actually loads um drum reverb uh vox verb and vox delay obviously you would have to modify that to whatever you have set up for the band that you're mixing at the time now i've got on the x 18s or the x airs should i say i only have like vocal verb and vocal delay I don't bother with like drum reverb on these on on most of the scenes that I have set up with that, but I could, obviously. Um, it's just I sort of haven't. So yeah, so you, this layer here has all the reverb sends and returns, and in pressing that effects button, if I do that again, you'll see it goes back to all inputs below. And if I, but my button has got like a two layer. It's got a two layer button. Uh, and when I press the effects button, it actually brings up um, all of my sends and my returns, my sends for my vocals into reverbs and my sends into, from my delays into my reverbs. And for some reason, it's just told me, I think this might be because I'm in offline mode, but it hasn't actually loaded what bus 13 bus 15 and bus 16 is but oh god I mean I don't know it works <laughs> normally when it's connected to a mixer but for this demonstration you can see kind of what it can do what it does uh, you can change in your layers this effects layer if I edit press that edit button there and you You've got your target mixes, could be, um, where are we? Yeah, it's not loaded in the bus names. Oh, that's irritating, isn't it? Anyway, so you can target mix, say, oh well. You can use this target mix button to say where you want like your drum buttons your drum channels to go to drum reverb your vocal channels to go to vocal reverb and your your lead vocalist to go to maybe a delay channel anyway let's get out of that uh my mix layer is um a mixture of dcas 
reverb returns reverb re returns on dc which i control using some of the dcas on the x32 because it has eight dcas so that's handy for that um on the xr18 obviously i just put like the stereo return on as my my reverb return um you can put the, your buses on things like that um so that's what i do on my mix layer and if i come out of that now I also have my all inputs layer, which depending on what inputs you're using on this, in this set scene, I've got nine inputs for instruments, three instru inputs for vocals, uh, and aux five and six that you can see highlighted there are a, the outputs of a Bluetooth receiver. So I can just stream music to, to auxiliary inputs. So that's quite good for just background music and whatnot. And you can see at the bottom here, uh, my DCAs, the drums, guitars, backing vocals, all vocals. So I can turn down the backing vocals independently, obviously. That sort of thing. A DCA 7 and 8, I think, are the reverb and delay returns. But anyway, right. I'll go back now. So yeah, that's that. Um, here I've got three wedges set up. Um, bah, 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 with different mixes um, yeah you can kind of see what's going on here so the gate again the compressor settings then and the effect settings so that's quite handy and you can obviously mix however you want here let's put it back to all inputs that just makes the most sense at the moment uh, now I just want to show you this monitor mode which is this button up here see that what monitor mode does is if i have um wedge l selected for example and I press monitor mode whenever i whatever i do here select here it doesn't change the eq that you're looking at the main eq it actually just keeps the bus eq set up uh, on on display and it also automatically moves to the compressor mode as well, which is quite handy. I think it does anyway. No, it doesn't. I won't ignore that. Anyway, let's leave the compressor mode set up there. Um, so what I... Uh, monitor mode, sorry. Right. So whatever I do here, it doesn't change this EQ because what I want to do let's say i need more vocal of my lead singer which is louis or lewis into wedge c center if i put that up and it starts to feed back somewhere then i can see on the rta where it's feeding back and i can grab it let's say it's two kilohertz i can grab it dial it in pull it out that's what monitor mode is for and if you uh deselect your wedge center it goes back to main lr you can see there just under monitor mode it says rta main lr if you put it on the wedge wedge left wedge center wedge right etc turn it off it goes back to main lr and whatever i do here bop, 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 okay it means i can see any feedback that's happening on the front of house now uh, and i can also like toggle my wedges uh my front of house uh, mute buttons, um, turn all the instruments off if I just want to listen to what vocals are coming through the front of house, for example, or turn all the vocals off if I want to just hear what's, what the instruments are doing. Uh, so that's really handy for like this monitor mode. You know, if you get like the odd squeak during the performance, you can put it on monitor mode and you can see where it is. Or of course you can just, uh, wherever it is, you could just use the, um, the RTA. So yeah, that's up here somewhere, I think. No, I can't remember. There we go. You could use RTA, of course, but um, this involves less button pushing. So there we go. So that's off, and then it goes back to changing for the with the channels. Um, this row of buttons up here, these tells you what DCA groups everything's in. So the kick, snare, snare top, blah, 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 blah. They're all in DCA group one because they are also in my drum DCA. 
Uh, uh, um, and it also tells you what mute group they're in. So all my drums, for example, are in mute, mute group two. You can see there, if I press mute group two, you can see there, look. Um, if I press the mute button, it brings up the mute groups and I can rename everything here at the top, but you're probably familiar enough with that sort of thing now anyway. Okay, so that's quick tour. Sorry it's ten and a half minutes long. <laughs> um, yeah, enjoy. Bye.